Coming in the mid-season balance patch for Season of the Defiance comes a whole host of changes focusing on primary weapons which have been underperforming and a few weapon archetype changes. Auto Rifles are the biggest winner of this change with a 25% damage boost across the board. Pulse Rifles, Hand Cannons and Sidearms all receive a 20% boost and Scout Rifles get 10%. Rapid Fire Snipers will also receive large changes having their recoil reduced by 50% as well as having 30% extra reserves. So with this in mind, here are my top 5 exotics which are already great but this buff will send them into being top picks. At number 5 is the Collective Obligation Pulse Rifle. Available from the Vow of the Disciple raid, the changeless weapon we'll be getting is a base damage boost of 20%. Best to use in Void builds, this weapon can leech Void debuffs of Volatile, Suppress and Weaken and then apply them to any target hit by this weapon. It has a lot of strong support around it in Season 20. Volatile Flow will ensure you have at least one debuff available at all times, with Weaken and Suppress being available from Void abilities on any character. The Artifact mods Void Weapon Channeling and Bricks from Beyond also benefit from this weapon. This weapon synergizes with all the existing top Void builds, including Controverse Hold Warlock, Heart of Inmus Light Titan and Gear Falcon Hunter. In the past I have used this weapon in high end solo content including Grandmaster Nightfalls and Master Raids and it did not disappoint. If you do not have this weapon it can be farmed when Vow of the Disciple is a weekly featured raid. At number 4 is a very unique weapon, the Sidearm Final Warning, available from Lightfalls post campaign quests. This weapon will also be receiving a 20% base damage boost. A great pairing with strand builds as it has inbuilt unravelling rounds and the ability to land all shots by simply holding down the trigger until nearby targets are marked. A great way to use this weapon is to hold down the trigger until full charge and then ADS. This will greatly increase precision damage and able to melt higher health targets. Combine this with the seasonal mod anti barrier sidearm, this weapon will have great anti champion capabilities and an additional 25% damage on any activity with overcharged weapons. At number 3 is the only special ammo weapon on this list, so it will not get any direct damage buff but has a lot of help in other areas, the Cloud Strike. Rapid Fire Frame Snipers, which this is a part of, will now have 50% reduced recoil and 30% increased total reserves, which both help push this weapon into its use of burst DPS against bosses. This weapon has been heavily featured in raid encounters in the past, such as Oryx and Tanix, excelling on any target with a large crit or divinity applied to them. Consider using this weapon as a backup when using rockets or heavy grenade launchers in a DPS rotation. It even has great synergy with heavy GOs with a perk cascade point being able to proc it in only 2 crits. The 50% reduced recoil will be very noticeable on this weapon and allow for more confidence in holding down the trigger for maximum damage output. At number 2, this weapon receives the biggest buff of 25% to overall damage, the Strand Auto Rifle Quicksilver. Quicksilver has been a popular choice since the release of Lightfall and has only recently had its 40% damage bonus against red bar enemies reapplied. It is able to convert sustained damage into grenade launcher shots which do heavy damage and create tangles on final blows. These tangles are lethal in Season 20 with Artifact mods Untangler and Stranded Reach, which a Quicksilver meets the conditions of of being a strand weapon itself. This weapon can be used on any build to strong effect with strand synergies also being available. If using this weapon I recommend the arm mod Strand Loader as it hugely improves the overall flow of this weapon and makes using grenade launcher shots impressive burst DPS. Finally, at the top spot is last season's exotic Pulse Rifle for Revision Zero. This weapon will get the Pulse Rifle buff of 20% but also has some unique changes targeted only towards this weapon. The Sniper Rounds, built up by hitting critical shots, will receive an additional 25% damage while the 2 Burst Mode receives an impressive 75%. Regardless of Fire Mode, this weapon will be hitting heavy and has inbuilt anti-barrier properties. 
It will now be worth considering the two burst fire mode which was previously underused in content where you want the extra range it provides. This weapon can be made how you want it with different stats and perk options. I have chosen to go with Vorpal Weapon and 4th times the Charm. At maximum sniper stacks of 4, you can benefit from 4th times the Charm for an extra 2 high damage rounds. This is another weapon that is made for the solo player with its high utility and customizability, and will be obtainable from the Exotic Quest rotating playlist in future seasons if you did not pick one up. Quickly, a few other weapons to keep an eye on after this patch. The Sunshot will get a 20% damage buff. I did not feature any hand cannons in this list, as they do not overall perform too well in PvE activities, but this weapon now applies Scorch and will pair perfectly with solar builds. The Bad Juju requires consistent kills to keep its exotic perk rolling and provide additional super energy. With a 20% damage buff, it will be much easier to meet this condition. Thank you for watching. If there are any exotics you are looking forward to using which I have not mentioned, let me know in the comments.